It's the beginning of a new era in Uruguay. A center-right Luis Lacalle Pou was sworn in as president on Sunday. For 15 years, the center-left ruled this small South American nation, turning it into the most progressive in the region by legalizing marijuana, abortion and same-sex marriage. But the new president says it's time for change. The citizens gave a strong message to me. The people spoke that it is necessary to change, but a change with consensus. It's now time to fulfill people's will. Present at his inauguration were right-wing leaders from the region, like Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro and Chile's Sebastián Piñera. Venezuelans who came to Uruguay because of the crisis were pleased President Nicolás Maduro was not invited. He is a dictator and I hope Lacage can help put pressure on him about what is happening in the country. But its domestic issues, like Ajepo, is set to focus on first, including crime and the economy. We want him to address insecurity. That has become a major problem here. Also education and to generate well-paid jobs. That's what we need. La Calle Po is a lawyer and spent many years in Congress before making it to the presidency. Luis La Calle Po comes from a political family. His great-grandfather was a major political figure in this country. His father is a former president. He made it to office by creating a coalition of five center-right parties that gives him a majority in both chambers of Congress. That's why it won't be difficult for him to carry out the reforms he wants. He's planning to send an omnibus bill to address what he says are the country's biggest problems, like the fiscal deficit, unemployment and insecurity. He wants to reduce the deficit by a relevant reduction of public spending. He says he wants to reduce the deficit without touching important social policies. He may want to reduce state employees and open up this country to new markets. La Calle Po says he wants to continue the policies that worked and change those that did not. His task will be to maintain the stability the country has enjoyed for the past 15 years. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Montevideo.